Hello and welcome back to Off-Road Yota Exploration. My name is Kai and this is my 2017 Toyota Tacoma. In today's video we're going to have a look at my Safari Snorkel as well as my Cyclone Pre-Cleaner. We'll have a look at why I've chosen to run a snorkel and why I've chosen these brands. There's some pros and cons that come with running a snorkel and I'll go into more detail on those towards the end of the video. There are two reasons why I've decided to run a snorkel. The first one has to do with water intake. The stock intake on the Toyota Tacoma is right behind here, just outside of the engine bay. Um, and underneath or above this fender liner here, the wheel liner. Um, but with the modifications I've made to my truck, I've had to trim some of the fender liner over here. And with running a high clearance bumper, I've also had to trim the liner up, he, up here. By doing that, it opened up some of the areas where some water and debris can get in, like right over here. And as we can see, if we look inside here, the, that black hose running through there is part of the snorkel and going right where the stock factory location is of the air intake. So, as we can see, water splashing up right here has the ability to get behind here and into that area. I had the bumper and trimmed the fender liner before I had the snorkel, and I found that I've seen watermarks in the airbox. Um, and since running the snorkel, I have not found the same watermarks. So, that's reason number one I've decided to run the snorkel. And the second reason is to be able to get cleaner and cooler air. By pulling the air from up here, it's higher up off of the road and away from the tire. So as the dust gets kicked up by the tire, it doesn't go right into the, into the factory location. It's pulling it from a little bit higher up so it'll get cleaner air. This also brings me into why I'm running a pre-cleaner. The pre-cleaner gets rid of any large particles like dust and stuff out of the air before it goes to the air box and gets filtered by the air filter. The way that the Cyclone pre-cleaner works is that it, as it's pulling, the engine is pulling in air, it's propelling a fan inside of here that causes any dirt or debris or so to go to the outside wall of this pre-cleaner and as it circulates around it gets expelled out of this slit over here. Let's talk about why I selected these specific brands for my snorkel. The Safari RMAX snorkel is made by ARB. Safari is a brand of ARBs. They've been making snorkels for many, many different vehicles all over the world and for many, many years. Therefore, it's a very trusted brand. Um, therefore, I know it's good quality. It's the material that they use will last a long time. I've already put it through its paces by rubbing it up on trees and so on, and it's held up very well. And I believe the material will do very well in the sun and won't fade or crack for many years. The second reason I selected the Safari Armax snorkel is I think it is one of the ones that has the biggest intake, which in this case is four inches, where some of the other brands that are similar style have only about three and a half or three inches of air intake. So this one has the largest opening and largest volume for the air to flow through and get to the engine without being restricted in any way. There are two reasons why I selected the Cyclone Pre-Cleaner. Um, for one, the brand Cyclone is a very big brand worldwide. They've started in the commercial industry, providing pre-cleaners for agricultural vehicles, construction vehicles and I believe even military applications um, and if they can make products for those vehicles in those harsh conditions I believe that it will be this product will stand up to anything that I can throw at it and will do a great job of filtering out the air. Secondly the style of pre-cleaner is very unique and it's a very effective way of cleaning the pre-cleaning the air um, it also doesn't require any maintenance. There's nothing that you have to clean out in a regular time. 
Um, it's well maintained. The products that they use inside here, the bearings, they're all sealed and will last for a long time. The Safari Snorkel comes with a ram style air intake. This is pretty effective at having air pushed into it and pushing into the engine. Um, however, this does not provide any kind of filtering or anything. So all the air that comes directly in goes all the way into the air box and needs to be cleaned out by the air filter. So if you're running in very dusty conditions or so, although it is higher up, it will still capture any dust that is up there and that will have to be filtered out by the air cleaner, by the engine air filter. So by running the pre-cleaner, it eliminates a lot of that dust. So uh, these are removable and I was able to remove it. Additionally, what I did to run this pre-cleaner, um, if you run it just stock as it comes, it will sit pretty high up just based on how the safari snorkel in it is. Um, it is lim limited on how far up it can go by these little tabs, these four tabs in here. Um, so what I did, I cut little slits in here to allow those tabs to go in and let the pre-cleaner settle all the way down. I made sure that even with it going up, it wouldn't interfere with the fan or anything in here. As we can see, inside of here, we've got a little fan. This spins as the engine is pulling air through it. And as it does that, it pushes any debris that's pulling in with that air to the outside, which circulates around that way and then gets expelled through this slit over here. So it's a very simple system, but it works very well and effective. By having cut those slits in here, I'm able to run the air cleaner a lot lower and all the way down to the bottom here. And this allows the top of the pre-cleaner to line up with the top of the car so it's not sticking up too high as well. The pros and cons of running a snorkel. We'll start with the pros. The snorkel raises the area where the air gets taken into the engine. This reduces the risk of being able to pull water into the engine, but it also allows for cleaner and cooler air to be pulled into the engine. Um, also, the, by being higher up, it provides a little bit more peace of mind that you don't run into these risks and are able to go through water crossings or anything with a little bit more peace of mind. Um, some of the cons that come with running a snorkel, it does require, most snorkels require you to drill and cut into your wheel, into your quarter panel here. Um, I didn't find this too much of a con because I'm planning on running the snorkel for the life of the truck. But if you ever wanted to go back to factory or wanted to have a different application, you can replace this quarter panel as well. It will cost a bit of extra money, but it's something that is reversible. Another con with running a snorkel is that it does cause a little bit more air drag and therefore reducing the mileage that you get with the truck. When I put the snorkel on, I did notice a slight decrease in mileage per gallon. Um, but for me, the advantages outweighed that reduction. That brings us to the end of our video for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Get out there and explore, but don't forget to tread lightly. Cheers.